that is generally before 9 am uh, we are supposed to complete the bhavana procedure in classical uh, bhavana, bhavana karma so what we do is uh, the diet and the previous night of the bhavana is a kapha utkalesa diet and after that in the morning when the person gets up and clear uh, passes the motion or bowels clearing the bowel the person is sub subjected for again the abhanga and then for shwedana after abhanga shwedana that person is subjected uh, to have a clean uh, in a clean uh, bhavana kaksha room we suppose that person and take that patient or a client or a portion with either that may be bhavana karma is we all know it is done for the preventive curative or uh, promotive health so uh, expecting uh, the kind of a pa pa patient or a portion or client we take that uh, to the bhavana kakse and in bhavana kakse the portion is given the uh, akanta pan um, it is not done on empty stomach so for akanta pan it may be like paya mixed with the ghee some amount of ghee or it may be chira dugda uh, or it may any type of or it may be yabagu means a uh, uh, slight amount of uh, rice gruel that is very uh, light so it after uh, mixed with ghee it is given and then the bamak the and after that when it comes to akanta uh, akanta milk is given and then the uh, bamak is administered after administering the bamak, Bamak Drabbe. The Bamak Drabbe is uh, describes 355 uh, Bamak yogas in only in the Charakalpa Istana, but there are other yogas that can be made with the Yukti also. So, but in general practice, there are we are practicing and we generally use Madhya traditional yoga or a classical yoga that is described in the Fanti yoga or a traditional Churna Liha yoga uh, that is used where we use the uh, Antarna. That comes around six to eight grams or ten grams. Uh, according to the condition of the past. Uh, so that uh, then Bhaman is supposed to occur within 15 to 20 minutes in general. So in between that, there are symptoms which occur within the procedure of Bhaman. The symptoms will come like uh, the symptoms of the uh, sweating or Swed Pardubhav uh, or Rom Harsha, like a hurry pollution, or that, that is like Adhmana, uh, so distension in the abdomen, and some salivation like Arillas. So these types of symptoms will come. They, they, what they uh, signify is they signify that the dosas, like sweating, signifies that the dosas at the uh, different levels are liquefied. So if there is hurry pollution, it signifies that they are detaching from that point. If there is a distance in abdomen or adman, it signifies that dosas have come to abdomen. And if there are halas, halas means there is a nausea and the vomiting is supposed to occur. So. In these sequence are very important to observe during the procedure so that it will ha always help us to perform the Sammeka Bhavana Karma. So after that, uh, the uh, after the bouts of Bhavana occur, we generally in the, in the classical uh, Bhavana procedure, it is like the eight Vegas or six Vegas or four Vegas that should come within that administration of a single Bhavana dose. But in a traditional ways of Bhavana practice, what we do is we administer Bhavana Pog that may be made of either Ikchurasa or a Yeshi Madhu Kashai or a Madhu or a milk or uh, labanodok that is uh, salt water these types of bamanopak drabes are given again and again and uh, the bam bamak bouts are absorbed till the shammek uh, baman occurs that means the shammek bamak baman uh, can be identified with the help of different criteria of the observations that may be begeki means the number of begas that should occur around eight langeki means uh, the manaki means the amount of the vomitus that should come uh, that is generally one prasta or no, one and a half prasta or two prasta in the uh, pravara bamana and the amount of the the output 
what has come that is the pitanta bamana is called as the best bamana or the shrestha pravar suddhi bamana and then the symptoms that should come the lightness uh, the types of the symptoms that should occur means hridaya suddhi man the lightness in the whole body the heart chest region that should come these are the minimum criteria for the proper type of the bamana uh, the proper or the sammek bamana karma after this after identifying generally a single person can never perform the bamana karma there should be a uh, doctor for observation assistants for helping there should be uh, junior doctors or uh, the uh, uh, portions to uh, record the number of beggars the input output is general all measured measurements are made within the procedures each and every uh, bamana beg should be observed uh, and the output should be analyzed what has came because if there is a pittant bamana the bamana should be stopped after pittant bamana uh, means it signifies the alkaline nature of the bhumitas so has came that is the significance of the bamana generally before the earlier the gastric outputs are generally acidic and the bamana like yesti madhu is in terms like alkaline uh the uh, the symptomatic uh, things are also there from the patients you can identify like the burning sensation in the uh, throat region or the light type so things uh, uh, that comes in the output like the greenish types of vomitus or uh, that those yellowish types of vomitus these signify that the pitan has occurred after pitan the person is subjected for uh, the cleaning the throat like a cover or a gandusa with a warm water and then the after that the person is subjected for cleaning the face and the uh, limbs or hands and legs with the click, uh, uh, plain water like a cold water but not so cold as not chilled water and then that person is subjected for dhumapan uh, the dhumapan may be prayogik snake or brechanik depending upon the condition and uh, after the dhumapan the person is subjected for rest and uh, should not sleep but can lie down and after that the according to the condition of the suddhi we decide the type of the samsarjana krama sequence of diet what should be taken it's uh, it's uh, ranging from the uh, peya uh, to the uh, samanya ahar that is peya bilepi akritam kritam charisam rasam tridhi ratha kasaisya we have the sequence if there is a proper diet we have the three diet uh, ahar kal of peya and then if it is a madhyam suddhi we have a two uh, ahar kal for pay only and if it is our one ahar kal so the sequence goes and it generally takes uh, 12 ahar kal or 8 ahar kal or 4 ahar kal depending upon the condition so uh, the sansajan kram is as important as the pradhan karma if we want to perform the appropriate sansajan kram lots of complications occur the uh, the benefits of bhaman karma can not be achieved and this is the sequence of procedural importance in the bhaman karma but before doing this procedure we are told always that the bhaman karma is a tough procedure with lots of bhapad and we get uh, like uh, we get like hesitated to perform the bhaman procedures in many of the cases so but to simplify bhaman is not so difficult but if there are procedural uh, mistakes or if there are uh, procedural uh negligence then it's life threatening that should be noticed so how to identify where bhaman can be com complicated or where bhaman uh, is a simple procedure this is all with knowing the samhita's text which are very important the factors that are very important in identifying the person who is indicated for bhaman karma is very important so to identify those procedures i'm going back because the way the procedure Uh, is very important to know, and I know uh, you, all of you know the procedures. But to identify the exact what is the criteria for uh, the bhamana karma is very important. So, in this case, uh, it should be simplified. The text is saying, "Bisisara tu baamet nabajo rati sara daikus." There is a lots of the uh, conditions which are identified for bhamana karma. Among those same procedures, again you have the specified places where you are told. even you think that these procedures like gridrasi it may be it is considered as a batas vyadhi and it may not be possible but in some text you can find that it can be performed as a bhaman karma so it becomes very complicated for us to understand what is the condition where it can be done so to simplify it's very easy you can simplify with different factors that is 
the general indications and contraindications for panchakarma procedures or even for bomber procedures should always be at the tip of tongue at the tip of the pen every time when you prescribe or when you perform any procedures of the panchakarma that is, is to simplify that the first is the ace criteria the prana karma shodhana treatment is generally procedure performed under uh, at the level of the age of 10 above the 10 years and below 70 years the texts are saying so if a person comes at the age of nine nine years and eight months then what will you do and you know that the woman is very important but uh, the text is saying you are not supposed to perform above, below 10 years so these conditions how will you assess this is very important. You should assess these things with the help. This is not the air. The IU is not only what you have the ears. The IU can be assessed with the help of different parameters of a ball. Uh, so, like Bale, Bridhi, Chabi, Meda, Tok, Dushi, Shukra, Bikram, Karmendri, Cheti, Raset, Daset, Karmeda. You have different references. Means the Bale Avastha has gone or not. The first decade of life is like a childish. So, if, it, if the person at the age of 15 is like a childish, portion of a 10, below a 10 years, by his activities, by his uh, construction. So you may not post them for Bhamana Karma. So it depends. So identifying the Bala, identifying the Avastha of the patient is very important. One is is factor that is should be assessed. Uh, and the other factor that is the amount of dosa. And we all know that in the Niramavastha, you are advocated to do Panchakarma, means Shodhana Karma. But in Amavastha, you should not do. We all know. but. To simplify, if there is ama, we all know that ama. The ama is the main cause for all the disease. So, if for ama you should not do baman, then you cannot do baman for all the procedures. So, there is no benefit of the bamana in the metabolic disorders. Benefit of bamana in the, all the lifestyle disorders. All are supposed to be the con consequence of ama. So, the trick is first do the ama pachana. There is no problem once you do the ama pachana with the number of ways of rukshana, deepana pachana. Then you can go for the Bamana Karma. In this condition, you can do, but before doing Bamana Karma, posting Bamana Karma, Amapachana, Rukshana is very important in these conditions. The other condition is when you all know that the amount of dosas, if you, you know that you have a atom bomb, like a Bamana Karma, but if you are using a rifle uh, for a very rifle, you why you why why you use a rifle? in a smaller war but in the world war people used atom bombs like same the condition if you have a uh, dosa is very less amount you should not use bigger weapons like bomb karma is not indicated for them like it can be done with the only purple langana but if you if the amount of dosas are more at the Purification can be done at the level of cellular and at the level of the all the uh, parts of the body, means Sakha Gata, Dhatu Gata, anywhere. But so that is very important. If you don't uh, use the appropriate weapon, if you don't use the appropriate procedure, then you are not getting the uh, right appropriate benefit. So Bahudasa means there are you have lots of symptoms in Bahudasa. Avi Pako, Ruchi, Staulem, Panduta, Kalama, Pidika, Kotkanduna, Sambhava, Aritire. You have lots of symptoms. If you go to all those symptoms, it's like uh, or if you, it's like very difficult to identify oh what is the right to do for Bowman. But you should know the symptoms, but in general practice, you can see all the metabolic disorders are the symptoms of Bahudosa. All the lifestyle disorders are the symptoms of Bahudosa. So, so easy to simplify them. Then the condition is the dosa. What is the dosa uh, type in the Bowman procedure? The other things are there are a number of things like uh, the conditions like the gati or dosa gati means if it is triyak, you should bring it to costa uh, urdagat or adagat. Then only Bowman procedure. If it is urdagat, then only Bowman can be done. So it is like the procedural importance. So identifying them, there are uh, that is very important in case of the indications and contradictions are not like the pinpoint things, but you should be very careful to identify the same conditions where the woman can be done, and uh, where the same conditions where the woman should be very uh, carefully done. So that is why Bamana karma uh, has a very uh, the mistakes on the Bhaman karma are in the identifications of the patient, indicated patients. Although it is saying like a particular disease is con indicated for Bhamana, so you posted for Bhamana karma, the other factors were left. That is why the, all the factors that should be assessed should be carefully assessed while performing the Bhamana karma. So after uh, in the, uh, after finding the indicated person, 
then if you go for uh, the uh, rukshana isnihana swedana and then bhavana karma and completing with the paschata karma then there is no chances of uh, no chances of the getting the complications but still uh, we are human beings so we may do some procedural mistakes or we may the patient may not follow us there may be lots of like the, there are number of conditions number of patients which don't follow you chanda sahasik means there are different people who think themselves as the doctors they don't follow us still we perform them the procedure then we may end up into complications the complications are basically two types they are instant types or late type of complications and that may be because of the ayog and ati yoga ayog means what you performed that was not appropriate the amount of dose of the drug that was not appropriate for that type of patient so ayog type of the symptoms can occur and the ati yoga type of symptoms which we can consider as life threatening immediate maybe immediate life threatening like jivadanam whether a profuse amount of bleeding may occur these all are generally because of the procedural mistakes uh, and uh, to my practice i say that we never see the those complications if we have the uh, appropriate type of this nena shwedana and very careful procedural uh, planning the the problems of the uh, panchakarma won't occur another type of complications there are what we describe is like adhamana parikartisya parisravo hridaya gatra graha jiva danam sabhirvam istambho sob dravya klama means these types of the descriptions of the other types of complications these are also the types of ayoga and ati yoga they can be managed with the help of simple techniques like the ayurvedana swedana or some basti and some types of the, the medicines these can be managed to Uh, that can be managed within the procedural phase or if they are late like a kandu coat if they are late complications that can be managed later with some types of the uh, medicines or again the some types of purification procedures that can be managed and um, uh, but the the important factor is the first is the uh, the procedure there is no shortcut that is no shortcuts in the isnana swedana and uh, a very careful observation of the pradana karma with the following of the no shortcut of sansa and karma uh, the sequence you can make a shortcut in the sequence it uh, is jumping one type of a ahar kram uh, may be possible but you cannot completely jump from the paya to the samanya diet you should go sequentially from paya bilepi akritam use krita use akrita mansras krita mansras this is a sequence and then you can go for a normal diet so there may be question like uh, what is the akrita mansras and if it is a vegetarian patient then you can go for krisara the other things there are number of ways like it is uh, there you the bamana karma gives lots of options uh, there are lots of the bamak yogas which are uh, very very easier like uh, the modern fall is not always the one and only solution for bamak yoga it can be substituted with a krita vedana it can be substituted with dhamarga it can be substituted with the like you can use the kutas there are number of conditions number of diseases where you can use uh, so uh, the whole bamana karma is such a uh, the topic where we cannot uh, specify because only the bamak yogas will take number of longer hours uh, for discussion but to simplify if it is uh, from your if you uh, have questions curiosities uh, we can divert to that area and discuss uh, lots of things in the interactive ways and i think that would be better that would be more beneficial the one way delivery of a bhaman karma in a short uh, duration of a session it's uh, like a uh, going one way and uh, Uh, I, I I'm not sure that you are getting or not. So I think uh, please, uh, you any one of you, uh, ask me some of the your ex uh, your ideas, your um, uh, observation, your experience regarding bhavana karma or your confusions, so that it would be very easier for me to concise what I have learned in these years. Uh, and uh, uh, deliver you the right uh, thing because uh, uh, for me uh, disc uh, discussing on the longer topic because i can go for longer time for the same topic or concise in a minute but it is like for me all the parts are important so i'm not um, uh, very clear where uh, i should specify for you okay uh, please if any one of you can ask me from your side then i can uh, make more specific Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, participants, please 
raise your questions it will be more interactive sayad aile ta sabai jana nepali matrai cha abhi hami nepal बमन कर्म ये बिग टपिक एंड मोस्ट अफ दिंग्स आर लेफ्ट Yes, my dear. If we want to talk only about the permutations and combinations of the Bamak Yog, we have 355 Bamak Yog only in Kalpaistana, and there is more in the Astangir there, like Madana, Madhuk, Lamba, Nimb, Bimbi, Bisala, Tarpus, Kutez, Murba, Dev, Dali, Kirbing, Nam, Bidul, Don, Chitra, Kos, Watteu, Karanja, Kand, Lavad, Bach, Ella. Means there are lots of options. So if we want to talk only on the Yog, also we have lots of things. So it's like a If you, uh, I am not sure what is your understanding of the Bhaman Karma. It, it it will help me to discuss on those parts because if I want to discuss only on those things, what I know, it is not important. It is important that what you know and what will you take from my uh, this uh, session. Okay, please, any one of you like the Antarnak Musti Praman of my Bhaman Yog Madanfal. What is Antarnak Musti Praman? And uh, when I was a student. when i was a graduate student i used to think that it's like it's very very unscientific what is antarnak musti praman it should be written in grams but when i went to the post graduate study in the panchakarma i th thought that oh, antarnak i when i practiced the bhaman karma i thought it is more better that antarnak musti praman and once i completed my phd i'm sure and certain to say that this is the most scientific thing uh, for measurement because it is individualized it is personalized so everything is personalized so the bama bamana procedure a uh, whole procedure is also personalized for a person it is not like the, each and every bamana is different each and every bamana karma is different because a person is different so you cannot expect the same sop same standard procedure for a bamana because the bamak bamak yog after administration the bamana uh, outputs will vary in every person the symptoms of the like the sweating or repletion or the uh, uh, like uh, the symptoms of the distension of abdomen will vary so the procedure where goes variation in every woman so that's why uh, if it is uh, if we can make it more interactive uh, your experiences will be more valuable for me so that we can discuss on the pain point factors where you have confusion please Hello. Uh, I think no one. Wishes. Okay. <laughs> actually, uh, this is also first time for Sir, me. The, there is no actually. Sir, no. you can read in comment box. Oh, they cannot ask the question. They can only type. Okay. How can we deal with the bipodas that occur after bamana? What are the commonly seen bipodas? Uh, Dr. Prithee, thank you for your question, and it's a very good question. So I am sure that you know the Bhavana procedure. This signifies that uh, you are sure of the Bhavana procedure. The Bhavana Bhapadas. Generally, I am in not in the um, side of the Bhavana Bhapadas. Okay, the Bhavana Bhapadas. My uh, opinion is should not come, and uh, for this uh, I had a I had a, I had an opportunity uh, to have a direct interaction to be a nice student or a classes. to take the opportunity of classes of hs kasturi also and he was also in the same way that the bapadas should not be expected first first is if we go with the sop or the procedure with the sneapana the bapadas will never come and if there are mistakes okay there may be mistakes because there may be mistakes of we could not appropriately judge the person like the adman will come the adman the first bapada may come if the person is of a bahu dosha excessive amount of doshas are present in the body and we administered the low potency drug means the oushad bire or the oushad amount went lesser amount in a portion of the bahu dosha then what happens is the bahu dosha the doshas cannot be removed 
so there may be symptoms of adhmana that signifies the distance and pain in the abdomen or the flanks pain in the flanks and so there may be sometimes the type of things like constipation the treatment goes is like you can do swedana treatment uh, again or in some cases you may use falavarti like a basti falavarti so that way you can manage it it's like and the type of the admana may be like a instant admana within the procedure also there is an admana or it may be late uh, like after bamana procedure after the two to three days four days you if you are having admana that is considered as vapor if it is within the bamana procedure that is not considered as vapor then that vapor within the procedure vapor never comes that is not considered as vapor but after the procedure if it comes that is considered vapor and it can be easily managed and even the usnodaka even alone usnodaka seven that is a warm water seven with some uh, medicated uh, like a uh, pachaka like uh, some types of the musta or any type of the decoctions can be uh, useful like deco not only decoctions like a paniya kalpana it goes like just boiling and uh, taking that uh, can be very beneficial the other types of the vapor the, the second vapor like parikartika what we use generally it is like the symptoms it is considered uh vapor for bamana and biration vapor are same uh, in the text and that parikartika can be understood as a kantha uh, chalana in case of bamana means there is like a, um, uh, some types of the irritation in the throat because of the uh, rubbing of the vomitus like the, when they were excessive vomiting there was erosion in the esophageal region or throat region and this can be also very easily managed but the cause of this is uh, these types of the pari this is when the there was a lesser amount of dosas or there was a snake uh, there was the um, administration of tikshna also if the medicine was very potent then this there are excessive uh, types of the uh, vomiting begas uh, that may cause a parikartika or the kantachalan and it can also be managed with the help of the uh, like a isnehana or isnik the isnik the also or sometimes if there is like uh, if it goes uh, like if there is a bleeding by because of kantachalan if there is rakta chandrika what uh, observation of the blood uh, blood uh, blood uh, in the vomitus if it is then you can go uh, some traditional ways that may be even the milk chira pana will alone uh, uh, manage those within the procedure but it is uh, late chances are very rare late type of things late complications are very rare other complications like the jivadan means excessive profuse bleeding sometimes the bleeding may be uh, very uh, uh, scanty or uh, like drops may come that may be because of the ossificial erosions or tear that is like a malaria waste syndrome but if it is like a if it is amount of more then immediately the woman should be stopped and uh, you should go for a pitta uh, pachaka ausadas or you can you should manage there may be there are the classics are saying that even the rakta pana or rakta basti the indications but in the practice we never see such types of the um, uh, uh, complications but if those complications come in today's world we may be using modern emergency management in these types of complications but we generally won't come and the other is classical management ways are indicated for rakta pana also in these conditions for jivadana the other complications are like hridaya gatra graha means these are istamba type of things that may be because of the if we give the isnigdha ausada bamak darbe for a isnigdha rogi then uh, what happens is there may be avaran or uh, the dosas cannot come that is why istamba occurs so again in these types of things we can use the pachak ausadas or swedanas or again tikshna bamana so that way the bamak can occur so the bapathas what we observe what we study each each and every uh, bapatha should not be uh, kept before per performing the procedures when you perform uh, more than 50 bamana procedures you can you can confidently say that i am sure and certain uh, you can say that i am sure that bapathas won't occur but uh, what we generally observe is we uh, have a uh, lots of uh, text we study the things and we are uh, made um, with the bapadas so we never perform the procedures and we have the problems uh, but bapadas those bapadas so when we are practicing when we have early start up for bamana karma we generally use with the uh, those bapadas which are not ati yogas we may land up into ayoga then ayoga can be managed but if we go for ati yoga then in the early practitioners 
we find difficulty so generally what we are doing in our practice or what we are doing at today's practice generalized traditional practice all the way everywhere everywhere yoga is less amount the one is giving pamak yoga in the tikshna also or more amount like the antarnak musti praman they are make everyone is making simplified form of bamana the bamana pog is for the simplification of the bamana so bamak yoga if it is given tikshna or more amount more potency and then uh, it should be in the uh, after the more experience so uh, so if just if being judgmental the bamak yoga the bamana bedapadas won't occur uh, my experience is that but still the text are saying adman parikartika parisrava jivadanam stop bibrams bibrams is like uh, if you, there is a bibrams then it is a fainting then you should give a pitta uh, samak ausadas like uh, kamadudha or there may be uh, but uh, these are if there are immediate within the procedures that can be managed with the procedural um, things like the milk e e single milk alone go godug the alone can manage go breath can manage many things bamanopog estimadu can manage many things so procedural things are one thing another thing are late complications are another things but we should not expect of the late uh, complications like a uh, so ayog atiyog uh, should never be uh, planned earlier but uh, we should understand uh, those things may come because of our mistakes so uh, prevention like a uh, prevent preventive part is very important so if we are planning bamana bilichana karma uh, we should be planning of the purva karma that is snehana is a very very important part if we miss that then we are sure and certain there are number of complications jivadanam sabhirus istamba upadravya the complications the, the complications can come and these complications may be life threatening also the vyapada is not only for uh, jivadanam it may be life threatening also upadravya is that may end up later into like in my experience i have seen the patients and students or um, people who have observed the avastha of am am avastha like the sandhi am baat like conditions after bhaman karma it is maybe because of the triya gat avastha of the doshas because of the bhaman that is upadravya avastha the upadravya is maybe varying that may and if you go to text if you study the number of disease vyadhi avastha in different disorders it is all the text are writing the things like the it is uh, the vyapadas uh, the panchakarma vyapadas may lead to this disease so the vyapadas the panchakarma vyapadas are signifying the vyapadas of bhaman also so bhaman vyapadas uh, can be various so it's not like only the things that are adman parikartika parisara jivadanam sabhivram istamba upadarbe the upadarbe may be many many so uh, the other things like the lesser amount of the vyapadas what we uh, consider is like the ayoga and atiyoga that may be uh, kandu kotha or uh, these types of penil rakta chandrikavat uh, rakta chandrikavat penilam rakta chandrikavat means those types of strigi vomitis that can be within the procedure that can be managed easily uh, okay uh, but uh, the upadarbhya avastha uh, should not be never uh, uh, thought when practicing bhaman i think upadarbhyas are not never expected for like us practitioners because we don't we are not using those all the permutations and combinations of the bamak yoga once once we are using very few bamak yoga like madan phal uh, yoga kutas yoga uh, we are using uh, krita vedana yoga uh, so in only jimutaka yoga only only few types of yogas uh, we are not supposed to expect those vyapadas i think okay did you get my point can i see the next question okay uh, krishna dr prithiya can you please clarify the indication of madana phala jimutaka ikswaku dhamargava batsa kritavedana uh, lavanodak disease condition wise <coughs> okay uh, thank you dr krishna uh, the indications of madana phala jimutak ikswaku damarga batsa krita vedan labanavada these types of things each and every the same drug like madana phala uh, in today's world there is the two things uh, two types of things are there one is the importance of the procedure itself and the other thing is the importance of drug like uh, when we have the bamana karma we get the benefit of karma itself in many conditions uh, we we get the 
benefits of the karma like in any we use any type of the drug for baman bamak and still we get benefit of baman karma that is one part another part is when we use the appropriate drug that is specified in the specific condition then we get better results that is another part so uh, when we have a madana phala it is considered as shrestha bamaka and it is kept at the first level and we all are used to we are very familiar and we have all the practicing the same things without the textual references uh, in the number of diseases madana phala is used so it is like nirapad it can be used in all the different conditions the, the next question is uh the practice i am not going to the all the textual references because itself uh you have the lots of we i think we need the all the like uh the different references for different uh yogas like madan fall 133 different yogas and um, but in practice uh, i have practice what i say is i have been practicing i uh, or i have been i i have known that friends are practicing is they are practicing with the dhamargav dhamargav is generally practiced for mano dosh avasthas in practice okay the textual references are saying different things and there is a confusion with the even dhamarg what is dhamargav itself the dhamargav what is dhamargav and to me uh, i think uh, we all are ne- from nepal yeah so dhamargav banego kasto bhanda keri tapai ko hamro ghiraulo thakkai bhanda ghiraulo nai dhamargav means in the in the south indian tradition people considered as like snake god as dhamargav but Uh, in the when we go to the actual textual references the margav is nothing other than the our the uh, the dhamargav is nothing other than uh, it's like a lupa uh, egyptica yeah egyptica it's like a lupa egyptica and uh, in this uh, you have the uh, we are using for the in depression like a mano avasad avastha like the other is uh, you have a kutas or a batsaka batsaka there are lots of research works and the practice also uh, in batsaka kutas uh, it can be used for different conditions like the hriday roga avasthas or you can use for uh, diseases like um, acne uh, the batsaka kalpa, kalpa is used and these are not as, as uh, more these are not as thick as madana phala they are some slight soothing type of the bamana yoga and uh, we can use lavanodak it's like a when you are expecting to use for a kapha bata condition lavanodak is very useful and lavanodak is generally used in all types of bamana karma to uh, in the traditional practice in these days practice uh, lavanodak is used as a closing uh, bamana bamak uh, material when you want to uh, complete the bamana yoga you last after pitta and the bamana lavanodak is given to keep purify to clear all the remaining amount of kapha and clean the throat so lavanodak is all used in many conditions and the other is like a jimutaka uh, is also used uh, uh, in the conditions like um, uh, in the conditions like the where you don't expect as potent uh, as tikshna drug as madana phala so my personal experience is people are choi- uh, choosing or the practitioners are or the doctors are choosing these types of different yoga as per the uh, demand of the potency or the strength of the drug uh, not only on the uh, and there are still uh, need uh, researches uh, needed to be done to identify to use on the classical aspects of the uh, these types of procedure and the yogas even we are you only using the practices we are using very few yogas like the churna yoga you we use what is a not the classical yoga that is like the combination of madana phala uh, bacha and madhu and sandev that yoga that was written uh, that was generally traditional yoga from kasture uh, ss kasture and it was it is following rudimentary yoga and this is not the classical yoga even but the classical yoga is a fanta yoga you just uh, what you do is you prefer the fanta of uh, either the drug of uh, yasti madhu or madan kovidar karbudar neep bidul anything and then in that you just uh, soak the madan fall properly and that is taken for next day morning bamana karma that is the classical way in the charak samhita so and uh, many and uh, there are very few practices who are going to the second yoga only that madan fall yoga also so uh, the yogas are uh, to be very specific it's better to use my uh, suggestion is it's better to use the yogas which you have done which you are regularly practicing uh, to get the procedural benefit 
once you want to do researches or once you want to do uh, once you are practicing bhaman for a number of hundreds of hundreds of bhaman then you can go for the next yoga and uh, after doing hit and trial for a number of because we are not very specific that this particular drug is the mark of only there are confusions with the drug itself so how can we go for yogas like the kutas is all established the jimutak is established even the ikshvaku and the kirta vedana there are like the uh, controversies within the practitioner some say this is this this is this so going to those uh, finding those uh, appropriate drug standardizing those drug and after that only i think it's better to identify the uh, variations of permutations and combinations in practice of the right type of bamana in a right type of disease for the right procedure but it's uh, like going for the procedural benefit uh, you can use any of the bamana fall or the bhatsaka or dhamarga or jimutak any one of them or even you can go for other drugs like nimba bamanopog like nimba is the or neem is the or and you can use for yashtimadu itself you can use for uh, patol you can use for kantakari you can use for uh, like um, uh, the drugs like uh, you even the milk itself is like a uh, uh, very assisting for akantapan and then if you use modern uh, yashtimadu it's very good bacha is all used every day the other ways other uh, references where we have in the um, drugs in other textual references that can be that are more used like karbudar kobidar are used kanchanar is very much used for kwat darve uh, so these are more simpler and more understood and they are more used uh, then the use of the kirta vedan is not so regular to my knowledge but uh, after researches people are practicing okay did you get my point any question uh, dr krishna did you get my point hello sir there is next question from sarmila okay the okay. next question okay uh, does this bamak bamak yog function to cause vomiting or the constituent of yog has other effect on body does this bamak dirbe and bamak yog functions to cause vomiting only ah oh. okay uh thank you for the very beautiful good question uh, i think the bamak uh, dirbe and bamak yog function to cause vomiting only okay obviously uh, if uh, it is uh, if the bamak madana phala itself if you go to the basti if you uh, study basti you you find number of bastis where madana phala is used okay so madan fall not only or the either any of the drug which we have you which we are using bacha itself has a different uh, purpose lavan itself has different purpose neem itself has different types of the activities in the, in the body so the bamak or bamanopak darbe is which you use have different types of actions in the body but when you are using for the bamana karma because it is bamana karma is a, a controlled medicated vomiting where the patient uh, the procedure is under the control of a physician and every steps are decided with the physician so the bamak is bamak and bamanopak drugs are given and the the doctor is expecting what is to do with the uh, dr- uh, with the patient's body by the drug so it's not going to do other things it is going to assist the bamana yoga but if there are complications if there are vapor if the drug is not according to your way then it may perf- thing do other things but generally most of the bamak drabe are having the gunas like usna tiksna sukshma bhavi bikasi gunas so once having these gunas the, what they do is they just go and if they are having uh, having the properties like bhavi they can reach to sukshma srotas very fast so they can go to other places and on the on those places they are expected to what to do they are expected to do the um, uh, is near they are expected to do detach or liquefy the dosas and bring to the coaster they are their expect is already their work is already expected and if they are doing according to their bamana karma then they will only do or assist the bamana karma and don't do other things as like the complications or any other problems or any other beneficial effects or harmful effects of these particular drugs but if the procedure don't go as we expect or if it is not according to us according to the uh, 
standard bomon procedure then they may perform other things and they may lead to ati yoga or yoga or other things what uh, is according to the type of the drug what was given but in practice it is all controlled like uh, when we go deeper to the bomon procedure like i was i was just giving a very um, short description of the procedure so what we do is in the snehana procedure what we are trying to do is we are trying to make a barrier uh, or uh, for the unwanted things not to enter in the cellular levels only the wanted things are expected to go and the unwanted things are expected to come out means it's like the post post you go inside to the cellular level not only to sakha the sakhas are representing of the cells means the uh, crossing the cellular level membrane and then going inside and coming back so that is expected so the snehana is done uh, to prevent the unwanted things not to enter and wanted things are to be expected the first thing another thing is when you do snehana you just prepare your uh, channels uh, you just uh, make them so smooth that the toxins can move uh, come back to the costa bridwa bisandanat pakat surto mukh bisodanat sakha mukta mala costa anti bios means what we want to do is when we want to bring doshas from sakha to costa what we do we do bridhi we increase them bridwa bisindanat pakat with them with them what we do is we do uh increase and then liquefy and then bring them so that way the snehana is very important so that uh, after snehana we give again the swedana which helps to liquefy so already there is dosa which is liquefied and when you give the bamaka drug once it goes and it tries to do other actions is not expected it is already expected to remove that toxin which is there in the cellular level it will bring back its work is already defined you are already coding the work of a bamaka drug and that drug goes and do the appropriate work which was codified for them to perform so uh, it will bring back so in the same morning also we are doing and assisting the bamana karma for that and uh, within the procedure the sweating represents that is the doshas are liquefied and the horripilation is very important and it's generally left in many of the traditional or the shortcut bamanas or if the procedure is not so appropriate the horripilation sign won't occur means rom harsa means the detaching is there means the doshas are living from their uh, places and coming to the costa um, means it is from leaving the intracellular layer mem intracellular space and coming to the uh, uh, srotas that is the significance of the detachment that is the significance of horripilation or rom harsa and then it goes to ardhman if that is a standard procedure the doshas the baman drug bamak drug won't perform other things than the bamana but if there is a, the problems if there is a the problems of the uh, if there is other problems like if the drug is not if the standard procedure is not followed followed then the other uh, things may occur and these are not the expected things during the bamana procedure okay did you get my point samila thank you sir sir na about पूर्व कर्म सब गए अंतरी जो बमन करने दिन में बमन बामक औषधी नखाईकन नेचुरली ना बमन भो बमन जस्त ना इफेक्ट हो बड़ी में लाइक होता Now I am really happy. Mala bolla khushi lagi ki this is a my my I am not used to that type of you know, kalko question typing. Mala say used to thiye na. This was my this is my first experience to reply the questions that were typed. And when you are having a interactive questions and it's like very easy to answer me and it gives me energy. So this ma kosto unsa unda? Can I? Uh, it's it's comfortable to reply in English or Nepali? Uh, if you feel Nepali, then I can reply in Nepali also. Don't do na. I mean. If anyone has problem, please tell me. Okay. Jundi na means I am just a bomb and karma garano khosh chong. A bomb and karma garano khosh dag agil lo din. Hamro expected a utkles garne thiyo. And that is if it self bomb and boyban, that is a very good sign that the doshas can go. This matter kasto hona to the brilliant sign ho. Yadi bomb and ko din dia na. Afi bomb and nuncha hone to ramro. This le na ramro ko hi signify garde na. And if this le thavans if can we can judge ki doshas sabhi nis ko pitant boyo. Then there is no need for the bomb and. बामक ड्रग टू बी गिवन इट्स बामक उत्कल से शरीर ने नेचुरली द बॉडी डिटक्सिफाइड इट्स तो होना सही तर ते में कस्त होता भादा बामक को द फर्स्ट बेगाज विल कम वन टू टू बेगाज बट पित्तांत वन टकर कफ 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 उत्कल म्यूको पोलिसक्राइड्स विल कम बट पित्तांत बमन वन टकर सो यू कैन कंटिन्ू दैट विद द हेल्प अफ बमनोपग 
एंड इफ द बमन ओपक कैन लीड टू पित्ता एंड बमन एंड इट्स वेरी गुड साइन तो यो होना सकता यदि चाहे दोसाज या पेसेंट लाइक पेसेंट अफ ए क्रोनिक राइनाइटिस अ पीनस हु हैज अ लॉट्स ऑफ कफ इन द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी देन व्हेन यू गिव दैट इज अ वेरी रिकरेंट टाइप ऑफ राइनाइटिस और पीनस इन दैट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स when you give kafut ke lesak diet in the morning the patient can vomit may vomit and that those types of vomana or the bouts of vomiting are not the actual vomana so you can continue after that again okay go on that procedure and complete till the pittant vomana then it is like a standard procedure but if from the same vomiters if the pittant can come then you can stop and you can consider it as a pradhan suddhi according to the amount of vomiters or the bouts big as and the lakshanas then you can continue for the samsajan kram okay Did you get my point? Yes, sir. Sir, or could question be this? That you prior to say cough, those or go bad or match a bomb on or in sign, na? But I this time the prescription so. So that the or go those or leg or that boy go the rogue or okay. Just say bad breathing leg or that and this is see rock that yeah, bitter breathing leg or near rogue or. But any bomb on go like I go or bomb in sign, na? त्यो गर भन्दा खेरि चाहिँ के के फ्याक्टरहरु चाहिँ कन्सिडर गरिन्छ कि त्यसलाई चाहिँ अलग बमन गर्न पर्छ भनिन्छ के जस्तै रक्तपित्तको केसमा त्यो अदो रक्तपित्तमा बमन गर्न गर्न सकिन्छ भने भन्या छ नि हैन के फ्याक्टरले चाहिँ डिटरमाइन गर्यो कि त्यसमा बमन गर्न पर्छ या गर्न सकिन्छ भनेर त्यस्तो के फ्याक्टरहरु चाहिँ छ कि जसको कारणले चाहिँ अरु दोषहरुको कारणले भएको रोगहरुमा पनि बमन या अरु जुन चाहिँ त्यो स्पेसिफिक नभएको प्रोसिजरहरु पनि गर्न सकिन्छ सकिन्छ यसमा कस्तो छ भन्दाखेरि जस्तो बमन कर्म इट सेल्फ द कफ को यो त कस्तो भन्दाखेरि एउटा सामान्य जनमानस या द फर्स्ट टाइम यु व्हेन यु एन्टर टु द कलेज यु विल गो फर प्रिन्सिपल्स अफिस या त कहीँ जस्तो एडमिनिस्ट्रेसन देन देयर आर लट्स अफ डिपार्टमेन्ट्स इन कलेज बट यु ओन्ली नो द एडमिनिस्ट्रेसन भन्छ जस्तै द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हेन यु एन्टर टु द बमन कर्म इट इज फर कफ लाइक शरीर जो जानाम दोषाणाम कर्मेण परम औषधम बस्ती विरेको बमनम तथा तैल गिर्त मधु यथा दिस इज फर वेरी बेसिक कि बमन चाहिँ कफ को लागि हो भेरी बेसिक मीन्स अब कफ को स्थान कहाँ त नावी रामा सयो सोयदो लसिकम रुदिरम रस दृक कफ को आमा उर आमा सय कंठेचरो बुद्धि हृदय मीन्स कफ को आपै चाहिँ डिफ्रेन्ट प्लेसेस छ लोकेसन्स है श्लेषमा स्थान या तर्प कफ को स्थान होस् या अवलम्ब कफ को स्थान होस् डिफ्रेन्ट प्लेसेस अफ कफ छ सो डिफ्रेन्ट प्लेसेस अफ कफ को लागि काम गर्छ भनेर एउटा साइन सिम्प्लिफाई गरिदियो त्यसमा कफज व्याधि भनेर फेरि नानात्मस बिसोटा व्याधि सिम्प्लिफाई गरिदियो बट यो त बमन त धेरै वेग टपिक प्रोसिडियर छ जसको प्रधान छ जसले चाहिँ कोष शुद्धि गर्न सक्छ देन यु क्यान गो फर द डिफरेंट कन्डिसन्स द टेक्स्ट आर अलरेडी गिभिङ अस द द रेफरेंसेस लाइक द रेफरेंसेस आर सेइंग अपक पित्त सेलेस्मा राम अपक पित्त भएको अवस्थामा गर्न सकिन्छ दैट इज लाइक द वेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट फ्याक्टर मिन्स पित्त दोषमा गर्न सकिन्छ एन्ड द अदर थिंग इज व्हेन द बाता एन्ड द पित्त दोष क्यान कम टु द कफ प्लेस मतलब कफ अफ प्लेस भनेको उरो प्रदेश हाम्रो अपर पार्ट अफ द बडी जनरली हामी भन्छौ मिड बिटवीन मा पित्त एन्ड द प्लेस यो इजी इजी सिम्प्लिफिकेशन मा द अपर पार्ट मीन्स द अपर पार्ट मा भएको जतिसुकै व्याधि छ उर्ध जत्रुगत प्रदेशको होस् या उरो प्रदेशको होस् त्यो सबैमा हामी चाहिँ बमन गर्न सक्यौ इभन मन्यागत स्तम्भ मन्यागत बात भनम न जुन अस्ति मज्जागत बात जुन गिरवा प्रदेशमा छ अहिलेको भन्दा सर्वाइकल स्पोन्डलाइज जस्तो सिन्ड्रोम त्यस्तो अवस्थामा यदि कफको आवरण अवस्था हो भने यु क्यान गो फर बमन even the conditions like uh, gridarasi where you have the bathas and bata kafas involvement you are specified to perform baman if it is bata kafas even then in gulma if it is type of kafas gulma you can go for baman karma even in vyadhis like aba jasto uh, pramayar vyadhi itself pramaya vyadhi itself sai da aba kasto cha bhanda kiri in the sthul pramayi balwani hai ka jaha bal cha tya chai tapai le chai you can go for बमन कर्म हुन्छ सो बमन प्रमेय त अब त्रिदोष चाहिँ हुन हुन सक्छ त्यो एउटा मात्रै दोषको इन्भोल्भमेन्ट छ भन्ने ग्यारेन्टी हुँदैन मिन्स त्यस्तो खालको जस बात चाहिँ होस् पित्त चाहिँ होस् कफ चाहिँ होस् जेसुके होस् बट स्थूल छ भने स्थूल प्रमेय बलवान छ भने यु क्यान गो फर बमन भन्छ त्यसले गर्दाखेरि त्यहाँ धेरै खालको स्पेसिफिकेसन छ बट टु सिम्प्लिफाई यसलाई जब सिम्प्लिफाई गर्न खोजिन्छ हाम्रो चाहिँ व्हेन वी वान्ट टु सिम्प्लिफाई इट इट्स लाइक भेरी इजी थिङ दैट बमन क्यान बी परफर्म इन द कफज कफज कन्डिसन कफ प्रिडोमिनेंट कंडीशन पित्त एंड बात व्हिच गो टू द कफ प्लेस एंड देन व्हेन देयर इज अ कफ उत्कलेश कंडीशन यो कफ उत्कलेश भनेको कफ को चाहिँ वृद्धि भएर स्वयं चाहिँ बमन को प्रवृत्ति भएछ त्यो अवस्था भित्र दोष अरु कुनै हुन सक्छ बातस व्याधि पनि होला बट इन्स्टेंटली समवन हैज अ उत्कलेश अफ कफ देन दैट कैन गो फर बमन कर्म अदर थिंग इज द पर्सन हु हैज व्हिच पित्तज आर 
pitta uh, yeah, and kapha are involved and or the bata pitta goes to the kapha place uh, then you can go for baman so uh, your baman karma like for basti it's like bate cha pitte cha kapha rakte a sansarge sanni pate cha basti re tai basti can go for all range of disease yo ta sajilari bhandiyo testai birechan means birechan also went for all kapha bata pitta bat in even for bata's disease bata se upagram isneha so it's sansodhana mirdu there comes in bata's disease ma pani euta reference cha you can go for mirdu sansodhana so that sansodhana is not always for birechana it can go for bamana also so tesle garda kheri disease specification herera the condition of the patient herera mali shuru agadi in the early starting also i want to i told you that you can go just the other factors the all the factors like age factor the dosha gati factor those avastha factor the bala uh, rogi bala factor the ritu factor like the bamana is generally considered as a preventive procedure for uh, or the yeah, in the primitive health during the basanta ritu but esko artha you say you cannot go for other seasons you can go in other seasons also according to the but if all the things like the dosha uh, rogi bala and the uh, gati those avastha and dosha matra if all are in contraindicated factor you should not go for baman if sabai all the factors are allowing you to perform bamana and if only the one factor is uh, 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 the is providing you a barrier then you can be judgmental and if you have the benefit of the procedure uh, and you can cure the patient from diseases you can easily go for bamana karma and uh, and and plan the procedure okay okay thank you sir uh, any question more any questions more please have you performed the bhaman karma intend dhir garnu bhayo kase le bhaman garnu hocha ki nai ahile samma yaha bhako le hami bich ma aphno leadership ma kase le bhaman garaunu hocha ki nai बमन को छर्दी हो बट छर्दी में जो काम भैर इट्स लाइक अ छर्दी बट दैट छर्दी प्रोसिजर तो बमनक इट वॉज नट एक्सपेक्टेड बट यो यह एकदम पेनफुल हो पेसेंट एकदम गाड़ो हो उसको बस में होते उसको कंट्रोल में होते दैट इज तस्त जब बमन कर्म कर प्लांट बमन कर्म नट मोर डिफिकल्ट देन छर्दी तेस में एटा कुछ मत हो कि छर्दी इट्स कम्स एंड गोज एक चोटी आँच अभी जान पे पटक पटक होते सो इट्स नट लाइक प्रब्लम सो इफ वी गो फर क्लासिकल बमन कर्म द क्लासिकल बमन कर्म इज लाइक द द बाउट सुड कम लाइक छर्दी it should come with the speed force projectile and all the vomiters should come at once but jab hami jai drug ko amount kam dinchau drug ko chai hami le potency kam bhako drug dinchau hami judgmental huncha kai le kai chai hami we in the traditional practice what we do is we give again and again bamanopak and induce the baman vegas to occur for an half an hour around till the pittant comes and till the amount of the 8 or 9 6 to 8 vegas come means the begas ko counting pani kasto cha hundakeri it's like not only the single beg upa begas like jodera last ma beg hamle count garchu means aj aile ko traditional jun baman ko practice cha that is not the exact what is expected from a tikshna aushad tesai le garda it seems like a dherai lamo procedure but it's um, but uh, as if we go to from the rex, uh, textual references it's like the procedure what it comes is like the chardi jaste forceful begas it's not under the control of the patient it's only the control of the uh, paricharak or a drug uh, or the physician who is gives the drug and decide what is to be done and you know step wise step tesaile tesma chai main chai problem esma uh, i am happy the topic is baman and tesma pani vyapar it goes all the way last time pugya cha but uh, the most important uh, is like isnihan isnihan should be very clear isnihan ma the many people uh, object to perform the isnihan karma properly just i am a patient like under the strict observation of a physician also 
the patients or the client try to escape from snare alikati kam piyunchu alikati thorai piyunchu ya the sneha pana jun din charya during the sneha pana is not followed the do's and don't do's are not appropriately followed then the bamana cannot for, uh, uh, be performed in a, the standard way the bamana will come either atiyog ayog or it won't occur in the samyak bamana won't occur means in the the main the thing that should be done is the sneha pana if the sneha pana and sneha pana should be yogya in yogya person yeah means like there should be a niram avastha if sneha is done in appropriate way if you can do sneha i am sure if anyone can do sneha appropriately then i am i can uh, i can confidently say that that person can do samyak bhaman easily uh, without any complication but if the person cannot observe and understand the sneha karma then after understanding even bhaman and after observation of more than 20 30 bhaman also uh, no one can perform the uh, right bhaman karma because sneha is very important sneha will be very very helpful in uh, understanding the uh, sattva bal of the because the sattva is very important factor you plan for a bhaman but the patient will live in the, from the bhaman table and run what will you do there are number of things and you cannot ask the, what is sattva of the patient you cannot understand your the sattva of patient by asking the number of questions because there are you don't have so much time to do in a day to day practice so i identifying sattva is very very uh, easier by the during the sneha pana because during sneha pana you are under uh, regular contact uh, your patient is under the regular observation of you so uh, you can understand him you can understand his body you can understand his language so his or her language that will be very very helpful uh, when you perform the bhavana procedure because your instructions should be obeyed very very uh, appropriately because if you say to take the glasses or bouts of uh, amount of liquid till akanta pan if the person says like i am full then how will you know that person is full or not it's very difficult and it's easy to say but the person said and he doesn't cooperate with you then your bhavana is not going to be right that is why in the isnia pana the isnia pana doses i think you all know because this is a the early procedure of uh, bhavan karma but if you know still still to till date i also now uh, when i in my practice i try to be very very judgmental during isnia if you have a very judgmental what when the what was the amount of uh, isnia or uh, isnia drabbe taken when was isnia digested what was the outcome of a mala drabbe and what was the amount of agni vriddhi if you judge all those things and if you understand what the diet was during the isnia pana days what was the type of lifestyle the patient had followed during isnia pana what was the these all will help you to understand the prakriti of a patient the vikriti of a, you will be more specific towards the vikriti dosha level uh, and then you go with the, all the types of the bala of the, um, the uh, bala of the patient sattva bala or sarik bala and then the drug amount cost uh, everything will be very easier for you you are very you, there is no mistake in your judgments if there were mistakes during your opd observation or planning of the bamana these all can be corrected by yourself so bamana can be only performed if you perform the sneha pana under your strict observation under your regular contact and once you have a right sneha pana then uh, the bamana is nothing it's a very easy procedure it can be very uh, appropriately performed as a samyak bamana and pitant bamana can be performed the doshas can be easily removed and the another important part the, the most important factor after bamana If everyone is happy with the pitant bhavana the person goes very happy but uh, the diet pattern after bhavana is very very important and they miss leave and that will end up into again the complications of the agni mande and if once agni, agni mande comes then we all know that agni mande is the cause of number of disorders number of upadarbhas so samsarjan krama peya bilepi akritam kritam ayusam uh, ras and mans ras this should be followed in appropriate way and there is no excuse for this you can have excuse during the uh, like the during the pachana you can if there is excuse like uh, rukshana means you should be waiting for number of days for the rukshanas to come like there is also you can go slowly but there is no excuse for the amavastha to start for the isnia pana you should not start 
in the arm of Avastha. You should wait. If there is shortcuts, means you can add some procedures like the Rukshanas can be done with the help of Udbartana also, Aushad also, Swedana also. There are a number of ways for Rukshana itself, for Dipana Pachana. But you can add them, but there is no shortcuts for the days, the symptoms, the Lakshanas that should come of the Nirama Avastha, then Isniyapana is very, very important. Sometimes, if the Isniyapana, you can go for a bit also. There are pravicharanas, but better to go for achapana. Acha isniya means plain. Isniyana should be better. For medicated isniya is more better, but you can have options there. But the samyak isniya lakshan, there is no option. And then sweda, it's like a gap day, one day gap is there. Then there is a question comes if there are more than one day gap, what to do? Then you can go for a virachana, but you can't expect to bomb on for to occur after two days gap. Okay. There are other ways in case of the emergencies, in case of procedural delays or difficulties due to some uh, unexpected problems, then you can go for other procedures to liquefy the dosas or to detoxify the dosas. But the Baman procedures, you don't have an excuse of a, a gap day, then the next day, in the ninth day, if there is a seven day Sniyapana, the Baman should be performed in the ninth day morning. And the next question is, the can we perform Baman at 11 a.m. or 12 a.m. or evening? There is uh, what happens is generally if you go for other times than the Kapha Kala, then Kapha Utkles or the Kapha uh, Suddhi won't occur. The Utklesa or the easy Bamana won't occur. Because uh, the assisting of the, the Bamana itself, if it is like Utkles, if it is naturally it's trying to come. Uh, so if you um, have the, uh, that time, that is more beneficial um, uh, to perform uh, Bamana. Okay. Any more question? Okay, I just. Um, more questions, please. Uh, this much. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Busaldai. Okay. Beautiful and useful lecture class. Okay. Well, Today's thank program you, is for. Interactive thank, you. thank you, uh, Abbas and the uh, and Nepal Ayurveda Medical Student Society for providing me the opportunity. And uh, this was a first experience for me to reply with the help of the these types because I was in Skype or other Zoom, but I was not used to. So it, I think uh, I, there were maybe some uh, delivering. I couldn't. Uh, I may be having problems when uh, replying your questions, but uh, in your textual messages. But I think um, uh, uh, I was able to reply to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We will meet up in the next class on upcoming dates with you. Uh, okay. If you are ready. But uh, my uh, curiosity, can we open the mic of the other uh, participants also so that they can ask the question? Then I think it would be more interactive and their, their voices will be more beneficial for me. The questions will be more uh, like a lively. I think the typing uh, is like, it's like uh, if there are a number of participants, like more than 50 or 60 participants, then questions would be easier. But we are very few and it's very like a close interactive session. Then we can have questions individually so that uh, we can. OK, I'm ready, but uh, you please plan for a due date time. Then we can start the okay. class. Okay? OK, I think the Bobana is still, uh, all if there is a uh, remaining, if the many points are left still, but if there is any confusion, we can all again discuss on the same parts, remaining parts, or else we can go for base and also. According Krishna, to the... can you are you asking some questions? Krishna no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Thank you for everyone. Thank you everyone for this interactive class. Uh, we will meet up this class today. Uh, we will meet up in next class. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Nirmal Busal. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.